So we're gonna put this and that and flash the card. After flashing the BIOS, I put the Vega 56 in the rack. Now this is going to basically be a fresh copy of Windows and we're going to check that the devices read. So I'm gonna go down here, right click on this window, device manager, under display adapters, you can see that there are three Microsoft basic display adapter. So that basically means there's three cards. If there aren't three cards, you will most likely see uh, the light not on on the card that is not reading. So just make sure you see three of the Microsoft basic display adapters for three cards. It's okay that there are the exclamation points because we have no drivers for them yet. You can also hit this button, scan for hardware changes to help bring up a card that's not showing up. But normally you would just want to reset and check your riser. Next thing we want to do is check the registry. I'm going to type in reg edit. It's going to ask you if you want to do this. Yes. I'll just read them off real quick. So H key local machine, system, current control set, control, class, and then we have this specific folder. That's 4D36E968. So that usually helps me find it. You wanna check that you have the same amount of folders as cards. If you look right now, I have a 0000, zero, zero, zero and that goes up to three, which means I have four. Um, in this case, that's okay because I know this first one is going to be my internal GPU because we're using a Pentium processor. So these next ones, if you click on it, it should just be the Microsoft Basic Display Adapter. So I'll have one, two, and three, and the one with all zeros is my internal GPU. If you have more than the amount of internal GPUs and external GPUs, then you would want to run the DDU or Display Driver Uninstaller. Install the blockchain drivers. So I have it on a flash drive. The one we're going to be installing is Beta Blockchain Workloads August 23rd. So you're going to hit install. Normally I just click express install. Your screen's going to flash a bunch of times. It asks you if you want to install uh, the ReLive. So that's like for streaming. I know I'm not going to game on this, so you can hit skip on that. After installing the blockchain drivers, we're going to open Watman. So we have three cards here. So we're just going to go into here, hit accept, overclocking your card, and we're going to change this voltage to manual. I'm going to hit apply, and then we're going to do the next one. So manual, and you'll see numbers pop up as well if you click the manual. And then the third one. What we're going to do next is open up these power plays. I'm just gonna double check one more time that all these Vegas are registering. Device manager, that's one, two, three, RX Vegas. And we're going to check the reg edit. Yes. This one's gonna be my Intel. I'm gonna click on one, and you can see down here it says Radeon RX Vega, so that's going to be one, two is a Vega, and three is also a Vega. I'm going to just do the 800 HBM memory. Right click it to edit. First one I'm going to do is the first, so one, file save, 
close it. Usually I open it again, so I click edit to double check that it's the zero one. Then you double click. It's gonna ask you if you wanna make changes, you're gonna hit yes. This is gonna tell you you may damage things. Yes, you wanna continue. You successfully added the keys. Hit edit again. I'm gonna change that to two. File save. Double check and then I will do the same thing. And then now we do the last card. So we're gonna change that to three. Save. Yes, yes, okay. I'm gonna go down here, restart the computer. After the rig restarts, we're gonna open Wattman back up. Gaming, global settings. Still have three cards, so we're gonna to go to this one and hit reset. Then we're gonna take a look at the voltage. So now you see that they're sitting at 905. And this one's sitting at 900. So I'm just gonna hit apply. We're gonna do it on this one. Reset. Yes, and we'll watch this go down. So it drops down. Check the voltage, and then we'll hit apply. And the same thing again. I'm gonna double check the voltage. So 905, and then 900 on this side. After that, uh, you can basically adjust the settings in Wattman and run the stack miner and you'll be running the Vega 56 with a Vega 64 BIOS with the power play table modification and that should get you I would say 18 to 2000 hashes depending on your card at about 130 to 140 watts. If you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, leave a comment down below. If you like the video, go ahead and throw a like on the video and stay tuned for more updates.